Hello and welcome back to game number two between Virtus Pro Radiant and Team Dignitas Team for this winner's bracket finals. Dogs. And I am joined by my co-caster, Vidis. Welcome. Pick. Yay. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for helping me out. And um, you saw game one. Yep. So what does Dignitas need to do to get Not into get game number three? <laughs> Not get slaughtered. Not get slaughtered. Not get slaughtered. <laughs> Pretty solid answer, I think that would apply in most <laughs> cases. Um, they're already looking up at the same lineup for now for first pro, while picking up Lone Druid and Magnus, and Dignitas picking up a Darkseer. And that's an, and a Gyrocopter again as well. You'd expect them to, train, to change their plans a bit. You'd expect them to change their plans a bit! I'll just say that a bit louder, just make, maybe they hear me. Having Darkseer is a good start because now they actually have a little bit of team fight to go along with the Gyrocopter, whereas last game they had uh, a whole bunch of nothing, really. Yeah, they didn't have that. Yeah, they had a cooldown, that's it, basically. They were outdrafted massively last game by, by VP. But why do they go for Anna Gyrocopter Nature's Prophet again when they know that they're up against almost the same lineup of Virtus Pro? Ten seconds. Well, I mean, remaining. it's only two heroes picked, not five, and it's true. they can they have to go five with different supporting remaining. options. To go with a jar copper and dark seer, something yeah. like a THD Reserve. will be on it for ding toss later on. Anything with you know AOE disable. Nice. So far, Virtus Pro, same back. story for them. So supports are going to be banned out by Dignitas most likely, but Dignitas themselves doesn't have supports either. The, I guess the upside is that they actually have got first Dyer pick, team so they can leave something that they really want to have, like an like a Rubik to steal the RP would be nice. But yep. I am. Radiant team. I don't know. I don't like. I see Virtus Pro and I see power heroes basically, and I see Dignitas and I see nice heroes. Well, it different? depends on Radiant how they're played. Down. That's true. That's true. Yep. Very true. Yeah, I guess if I if I still think that if Dignitas would have gone for an aggressive Dyer tri lane with that with that uh, visage and the shadow shaman might have been working out better. And uh, actually, Dignitas they ban out the uh, the Jakiro instead of picking it up, and they pick up uh, ban out the Shrek and the Bane as well, with the Rubik and the Chen and the Shadow Demon being banned up by first Radiant pro. So a lot less supports in the pool. But Dignitas still likes to pick up Shadow Shaman and Lion, so one of those probably gonna be a pickup for them. I am Shadow Shaman. And instantly Shadow Shaman's picked up. Good call, Shiver. Yeah, well they're they're in the same pattern here. Like I can call which uh, which hero that they had. Previous a visage again, please don't let it be a visage oh, again. No, I really hope they don't do that. Because that... so this game, VP does have uh, to go play the Dinkas' bands, Lashrak and Bane. Those two heroes are both really good in both aggressive and defensive trilands. And when you see a life stealer, you have to be a little bit afraid of the Ten aggressive trilands potential, remaining. especially since the Lone Druid free farms against an Five offlane Dark Fear remaining. and an offlane Fearin as well. So they had to ban out those heroes in case of an aggressive trilane, and I think the only reason for Dignitas to potentially even look at Visage this game is to prevent an aggressive trilane. But I really hope they don't pick it, because so, they just, you know, if you're not matched up against another trilane, he's going to be a weak hero. Yeah. Well, Lina will be picked up by, uh, by Virtus Pro at least, so that's going to be uh, their replacement for the Lushrak. And already, I guess, also, would fit in an aggressive trial lane, open wounds, setting up for a light strike array. In a way. Yeah, but it all depends on what their the last two support picks in this game are. Because VP right now has flexibility, whereas oh, Dignitas, okay. alright, they're jungling either the Furion or the Darkseer. I like it. It gives that's... a lot more aggression in my eyes for them. That is super greedy, though. If VP sees that and wants to, it, it's all what they want to do here, because VP's in the driver's seat. I'm dying. Yep, they're aggressive tri laning. <laughs> like picking up a, or deciding to jungle the dark seer or the fear, and it looks like it's fear that's gonna be jungling. It just opens yourself up to get aggressive tri lane. And Rasta Gyro is an extremely weak dual lane against an aggressive tri lane that's really strong coming yeah. out of VP. Yeah, you don't really have an um, a save. A safe thing apart from your hex and then run away, but the hex is such a short cool, such a short duration at level one Prepare that you can't really rely on battle. that. Like it's no disruption or something like that. I would have been able yeah. to make it safe, but right now I guess they have to count on maybe Nature's Prophet to be able to TP in and you know provide some form of threat there. 
maybe. But uh, but yeah, we're gonna be seeing um, the game number two for the winners bracket for the Bitmix Russian Dota 2 League. Team Wild once again on the Magnus, NS on the Undying, KSI once again on the Lone Druid, Airman or Illidan this time on the Lifesteer and not on the Weaver. But it's still gonna be Smile playing this Lena this game with no items at all. Someone donate this guy some items, please. And um, aggressive uh, aggressive five man lane right now, <laughs> looking for Dignitas already. Uh, you want to introduce Dignitas? Who's playing what? In the North American squad of Dignitas, we have Way Too Sexy playing the Furion, Fog playing Shadow Shaman, Universe is picking up the Darkseer, uh, Aoi 2000, or Atos 2000 is playing the Gyrocopter, and the standard who's been playing with them for a couple weeks now, I think, is uh, Snake Inc. playing the Queen of Pain mid. Yeah, he's been, he's been standing up for quite some time again. Indeed, a couple of weeks. wonder if he's going to be added to their roster again, but then again, what happens to Tide to Time? The battle begins. No one knows no until they make an official statement. Invisible spawning bottom for VP, but Dignitas have vision of that from the so they know that there's going to be an invis supporter. Yeah. Oh, the courier out. though! The ward is there! Look at the courier hiding! Undying, he saw him though. Sentry warden. Easily they realize he's, they have got that one. The creep wave should see it. Yeah, there we go. And that's it's actually. actually oh. that's, that's really bad. Oh, Owie realized it and he's going to tank the creep wave for a little bit. Um, the courier is still gonna get picked off by AR Sarge. <laughs> well, that is that is not a good start for Dignitas already. That Having is their three plane already huge. pushed out. That's a bottle already for Mag. And if they want to, they're gonna be able to crow it super soon. So Mag's gonna be able to bottle crow really early on in this game. And he, Mag normally loses against Quap really hard. But he's gonna have a super easy lane now. And the Good thing is, like, even if Snaking would have the bottle, uh, have his bottle, he doesn't have a courier to bring it to him. Yep. So that as well. This, yeah, uh, that's just a major world. Courier upgraded already, of course it is. Money a plenty for everybody. Lane pushed out. Dignitas bottom lane not really able to do anything. Aoi can't farm. And uh, way too sexy can't even farm everything as well because there's still a ward in that uh, in that radiant jungle. There, as we also see. Oh, yeah, they should be able to see that though. Eventually, they'll check that spot. Now the question is, maybe Burst Pro comes there first, and then they can count towards. Now the supports of VP can't get too aggressive because of the amount of damage that Rocket Barrage does. I need to wait a couple of levels, or maybe set up on Aoi itself. Nah, then, if, then if, Iron Man can't get close, of course. If Nate leads, with Rage, he's not going to take any damage from Rocket Barrage. So, then they can go, but if the supports are just running in their blind, they might Regeneration. actually die. Have to be a little bit careful. Yep. Oof, and the two minute spawn actually still got blocked, because Dignitas was too late in killing that sentry. That's pretty massive. It's gonna be another minute without the lane being pulled back. And another minute where Airman can just free from there. 10 for 2 for now, as KSI is also doing okay. 11 for 0, and, and Dignitas. Well, I can basically only talk about Snaking because he's the only one doing something here. He's 3 for 11. 11 for 3, rather. Might actually be able to do something to save a wild here. If he can uh, continue to rest, Courier. Oh, just flying past. The bottle will be there, he will be able to heal up past there, unless Nature Prophet thinking about TPing in... Yeah, that's fine. It's only level 1, yeah, it's only level 1 Shadow Strike. If you look at uh, top lane, Universe has been pulling the lane to the pole camp of VP, and he's super out farming uh, KSI right now, and KSI's actually missed a bunch of creep kills to the tower. Well, Ooh, and they're gonna die with this. Theory. They're looking to take this TP incoming instantly from the Lina, and that's uh, 135 gold wasted up on, uh, up on Smile with uh, way too sexy TPing out, but I guess that's, that's nice. Oh, first Blood still have to He TP'd mid instead. My bad, missed it. <laughs> it is, uh, it is Team of Wild that I went down with the first Blood. Way too sexy picks up the gold, so nice. And the courier is back! Rejoice! <laughs> I mean, now he's switched to the jungle, he just killed the small camp off to get a little bit of farm for himself. Another thing that Way Too Sexy did when he went to top was he gave his tangos over to the universe. With a dead chicken, universe actually ran out of regen and wasn't able to creep skip anymore. And then you just use your nature's profit as your personal courier. 
it works, I guess. But you can teleport. Yeah. And and they, they try to do something and they force out a TP that actually costed money from Virtus Pro. And I guess with that kill on the mid lane, it's actually sneaking again that can come out on top again, even with that Triple bad start fire. that he had with the courier going down. He has got a bottle right now, so that's good. And are we getting a bit of farm on the bottom lane now that the lane gets pulled back? It's starting to look better again for Dignitas. <laughs> but Aoi still can't really farm against Snake. Snakes has face boots up already. Yeah, so so even though the Lina TP'd up the top, uh, he can't get creep kills only experience. Better with that than nothing, I guess. But yeah, it's it's not ideal. The question is, when does Virtus Pro want to capitalize on their advantage? Is it going to be when Magnus is level six, which is almost? Um, Max still needs to get arcane boots before he can really fight. As in, like, run around the map a whole bunch, because he's just so constricted with his mana pool. Oh, first pro wanna go for the TP and from Universe as well, though Rocket Barrage still goes off, and Airman gets himself a lot of harassment. Shackle, is there enough damage though? I don't think so. It is gonna be an S that just walks a bit forward to, uh... Just, oh, Light Strike Array, Universe. Flat Cannon might be able to pick up... No, nobody. Nobody, nobody dies, a lot of aggression, but at least for Dignitas, I guess it's a good thing because uh, they were the ones to get aggressed on and surviving that actually buys a bit of time for Aoi to get last hits. And meanwhile, with Universe out of top lane, KSI instantly starts pushing the tower. Oh, and he can. He gets uh, now stopped again by uh, by way too sexy. He came around there as we have got a rotation from Universe towards the mid lane. I don't think he can do something there. Maybe he nah, he can't. He knows that too. I think. I hope. What's he What's he doing? Is he gonna be getting something? Looks going like straight up the top. Oh, Aoi. Oh, Aoi. <laughs> what you gonna do now, Aoi? TPing out. There's gonna be a light strike array though, and that is gonna be Aoi going down. No, not again. First kill though on the side of Virtus Pro. Yep, and that's just. I wouldn't say it's too surprising. I think Tuss knew that they had to play bottom passive and they did. That was the first time that Everybody's they were actually caught out of position. Good play by VP though, capitalizing on that mistake. Oh. We shall not buy boots. Was that actually what he was doing? Yeah, or the Silas might be the case they wanted to have. Well, he paid for it. I'm gonna be uh, walking his way back because he already bought a TP when he uh, was about to die and used it as well, so can't really TP back, so misses a bit of extra experience as we have another ward being placed by Smile, keeping the control here. Just continuously shutting Dignitas down. What do you think the Dignitas needs? Because right now, Virtus Pro is getting ahead. Slowly but steadily, basically they're... Well, they're not really getting ahead, I guess. They're more like shutting Dignitas down. What does Dignitas need to do to not get shut down like this? They need Sneaking to rotate over to bottom. But what Sneaking's doing, and has been doing, is he's just spam bottle crowing. And using Scream of Pain to farm up mid. You can see the thing he's getting really farmed, but he needs to help out his team a lot as well. well he did pick up his Sonic Wave, it's, which normally for me indicates that he wants to use it for something to kill off people. Maybe if he gets a kill up on Tamer Wild, he will go? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Though, I guess it's fairly it's coming up to right now. It's coming up on sneaking. He needs to stop bottle crowing, fountain once, and then just go bottom. And he'll be able to pick up kills there. Okay, let's see if he's gonna do that at some point though, because I think the rotation maybe come from Tamer Wild first. He's got himself a full bottle with a double damage rune, has got an RP, and I think he's looking for blood. There's only two he heroes. He just walked so right through a ward, so Dignitas knows he's coming down. There's a oh, it's a ward. Oh yeah, this blocked. As in. I only saw a ward of the dire, but... Okay. This thing's got a TP in 500 mana, so he will be able to go down to bottom. He is just advertising that he's hanging around there right now. And he's actually running bottom for the rune, and then he'll be able to get in. The dire sees that as well, though. So they are realizing that the question is, and they do have sentries. Oh, this is gonna be big if they see him. And I think Snaking knows. He should know. Otherwise, they wouldn't have run that way, and yeah, gonna be taking the other path. Another sentry being placed, being prepared. Still out of range of the sentry. I think they're ready Just with barely that. Though. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower. They, yeah, they saw the edge of him. They saw the edge of him. Now they see him. 
Yeah, there we go. RP, boom. Nice snaking. Welcome to the party. He is gonna be picked up. That's gonna mark the ex well, entrance for the fight. But Virgil Pro got what they came for. As Illidan has still got turned into a chicken, but they can't do anything with it. The Queen of Pain died. The one that was actually the one that was supposed to turn the bottom lane around for them. And this this should be a tower. I don't think because Dyer's it's gonna hang around here. Fog doesn't have a TP. Oh, they know he's still there. And he is gonna be the one to fall. Open wounds. No, actually, universe TP's incoming in. universe. That's the threat. Rage of Sex is coming in from the front. Vacuum into Light Strike Away. Or Vacuum into Light Strike Away is still hit from Smile, I guess. It is. And S is still went down. Tamo out follows after. Smile. We're gonna try to eat his way through the trees, but I think it's gonna be all for naught. He will be going down after a night light strike ray on two. But finally, Dignitas getting themselves three kills on the board. And That's actually exactly. gonna be able to push to. They're gonna lose the top tower no matter what to the Silibear. And they're gonna try to take the bottom tower in exchange. TP's coming back from Virtus Pro. They have a tombstone up at level three. They might be able to stop this pushing. Fortification goes up as well. If the tombstone goes up, that will be stopping it. Airman, he's already coming in. Force the snaking to blink himself away. Surge away from Universe. And I mean, that's all fine for Dignitas, but they don't get anything on the back of that fight. And like you said, they lose the tier 1 tower top. And VP is fine with this as well. They're... Like, their Silibear has been free farming and gone pretty much unchecked since uh, Lena TP'd up there. Because uh, Lena going top bought him time to get level 6 and then Dark Seer isn't able to do as much against the Silibear. Um, he's almost got his relic already at 10 minutes. So it's going to be about a 14 minute radiance coming out from him. Oh, that is so massive. And then if you imagine there's going to be a Shadow Shaman. Poor little Maybe Shadow Shaman is going to get burned to death attack. by that one. Level 6 only. I mean level wise it is um, actually... Actually, I say level 6 on Shadow Shaman as if it's a bad thing, but Aoi is still level 5. I mean, that lane just didn't work out of, at all for him. He also only has 19 creep kills too, 11 minutes. Yeah, his net worth is still above the Lina and the Undying, so I guess that's nice. But it's only barely above that. He is, uh, he's, not, he's not a really happy, uh, happy helicopter right now. Happy heli. Wow. Never made that one before. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is something like a happy heli. That's something that makes sense. It's like an alliteration, and it makes sense <laughs> in this case. But it's uh, it's Virtus Pro that actually is a bit more careful here on the bottom lane. I guess they realize that snaking is still hanging around there. Not really all too confident in hanging him, having him there, as he still has a sonic wave up. In the meantime, we also see Tamer Wild. I'm not sure what he's thinking, but I think he's thinking, Ooh, gold! In the terms of way too sexy hanging around there. He has got an RP. The question is, does he want to dive the tower for it? Uh, yes, he does. Of course he does. <laughs> of course he does. Why was I- Oh! oh! Whoa! Shockwave should be t targeted at the hero, Tamer Wild. Not next to it. Oh, and this could actually mean death for him. Mage is probably a little bit bouncing no. through, the shack was there, and there's no score! Oh, the pain! Alright, uh, what that end. was, uh, this is a USC server, Yeah. and he shift queued his shockwave. Yeah. So right after the RP, he just shockwaved right away, because he knew the TPs were going to come in as he dove that. He just wanted to get the kill and get out, but RP pulled him on the left hand side of his hero and he threw it right in front of himself. Oh, he missed that, it. That was pretty painful. We see Snaking still picking up Smile, but let's see if Airman can get a return kill for that one. Doesn't look like it. They did. They were able to pick up uh, Aoi beforehand, by the way. That happened at about the same time as the Tamar Wild um, well, escapade, I guess. <clears throat> oh, that was a bit of a shame. Like, if you can contribute that to server lag. <laughs> East is always going to be rough for Russian, so his way of dealing with it is shift killing his spells to get them off fast. Yeah. Well, and it makes sense, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, I guess. Yeah. It's just unfortunate for him. Yep. RP on cooldown. Death on the board. Dignitas. Happy with another kill. I mean, they, they need to get it from these kills, because they're not going to get it from the farm, from the gyrocopter. Oh, yeah. Like with the little support, or with how long it took them, I should say, to support bottom lane, they're really not relying on the gyrocopter. They're relying more on the uh, Dark Seer, Queen of Pain, and Fury on this game. The Queen of Pain didn't get a Midas up quite a long time ago, so he's farming 
pretty decently now. My well, thanks. Can, yeah, and they can use the gyro for the cooldown for Radiance the utility and have a vacuum sonic wave thing going on. I mean, the potential is there if the positioning is proper. And they're gonna go. Oh, chicken! <laughs> really fast chicken. <laughs> Then looks like we're gonna see finally the tier one tower bottom drop. Radiance that was bottom that was like a long bottom. time. Uh, but tier one tower mid actually getting pressure as well. Shadow Shaman Wars being placed. There is a no. Well, there actually is an RP again. TP in from Airman. He doesn't care about wards or anything like that. He can stand around anyway. Rages. Gonna be still be taking a lot of damage from that. Jumps himself in and out of creep. We'll be fine. Never mind. As it will be still the tower going down. Maybe unless Team of Wild. Oh, he can maybe get an RP. No, no. too much. Too much. Sneaking getting the gold for that. And haste rune as well, and he's gonna go for an orchid. And Raid to just finish on Spirit Bear at 14 and a half minutes. This is when VP is gonna look to start grouping up his five and taking mid tower and go. going after some tier twos potentially. It's so after they get mid tower, they're gonna be really close to having Magnus's blink as well. And as you said that case, I teleported to tier two and they start pushing us five mid. And half the RP still up, of course. There's no blink dagger yet. Uh, Magnus actually died three times this game, so a bit delayed on the blink that is. Universe's Dark Seer does have a mech up, which is gonna help a lot against this. Oh, vacuum into the Sonic Wave. Not doing as much as I thought it might, though. Darcy Roll goes up. That will make sure that they get pushed out. Tower not going down. At least it is defending the tower, but that was a lot less skill potential than I thought it would have. Airman was quick getting rage off, sitting get hit by the wave. Well, still has the RP. The question is, does Virgepro now want to continue going? Because they have got a pretty high survivability as well. Like, look at their HPs. You wouldn't say that they just fall apart from Airman and KSI being fairly low, but there's Tranquil Boots there and there's Soul Rips also for Airman, who has a rage to begin with. So, they probably just want to go again. Definitely want to take this tower with Quapult and Dark Serult on cooldown. And the cooldown but is still there. So, yeah. Rasta, Fury, and Gerald have their ult still. And that will help. Not enough for the tower, I guess. There's no fortification or anything. There's the cooldown. Gonna be hitting up on the bear mostly, even though Airman is taking a lot of damage from that as well. Might actually go down. It is gonna be Smile that takes a fall. Still gets uh, fogged on the sun, but Fog's mechanism or Universe's mechanism helping out fogged. KSI on the run. The Haitian on snaking. The Surge on snaking, rather, helping him out. Is it gonna be enough? Leap forward, scream, dominating. Will be getting that kill. And S walking himself out. Teacher. They did get the tower, but they lost two in return. And they might be looking at their own tier 2 tower, taking a bit of harassment here. Oh, team of, unless Team of Wilds can do something Dyer's against it. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are still fortified. Where the vacation goes. That's actually a good fight for Dignitas. Yeah, Dignitas felt that they could take it because of how low uh, some of the players Dyer's were on VP. They only two carries and... Just, I don't know the names. God damn, Airman and uh, KSI. So they just waited until, like, when they got the position or the tower rather, VP started to get out of position while backing up, and that's when Dignitas went and they were able to pick two off. Yeah, and I guess that's that's when Queen of Pain is the one that you want to have, is able to just punish everybody that's out of position by blinking around real quick. And Sting's about to finish his orchid right now. He just needs the recipe. And that's gonna be making a big difference. Like, it's gonna be uh, tough for Tamer while to get his a good RP in without attack. a blink. Even though, having said that, he just picked up his blink. So that will make a difference for him. DP's moving straight into Roche. There is a ward here from Big Path. They see and they're rotating straight out of top lane over towards Roche. They don't want to give this one up. Can they really fight this though, or are they just gonna force them out? Because they're walking past wards, and, and Virch Pro, they see that, so they are gonna actually back off. Unless they can catch out. Oh, uh, we run away. <laughs> Fly rather. He's got face boots. He's got 1200 gold. Not doing too bad. It's gonna be really hard for Dame Tots to fight them at Roche with RP being up. Yeah. But at the same time, they do have Dark Seer, so maybe he's scaring VP a little bit. Yeah, they 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 have all the ultis up again. Fogged is gonna be Fox is gonna be up again one in 10 seconds. But an RP, one RP can turn everything around if uh, well placed. But then again, there comes the Orchid. Pick up Tame Wild before anything else. Well, that's a big thing. Can sneaking and Way Two's also getting an Orchid of his own? Can they get an Orchid up onto the Mag before RP, or at the very least before the Skewer? It's gonna be really important. And also have the instant hex from Fog on the Shadow Shaman. Yeah, they need to get disabled on so it doesn't get his combo off. 
He has to be so wary of his position, though. I mean, it's gonna be tough for him because, I mean, Hex, it's got a pretty okay range. But not if you're counting a Magnus with a blink in RP. He's gonna try to make sure that that Shadow Shaman is in there because he'll die from that combination alone. Unless he has multiple bracers, which he does not. <laughs> or if they get a mech off. And two. But. Yeah. One thing I don't like about Ting Tass's lineup is they picked Shadow Shaman, which. A lot of teams have been picking Shadow Shaman in line a lot more. Mm -hmm. They're using him as a hard support, so he's not going to be able to get a Blink Dagger up. And having a Shadow Shaman or a line with a Blink Dagger around the 20 to 25 minute mark as a support is really useful in getting ganks around the map. It's going to be hard for him to lock down Lifestealer without a Blink Dagger, so. Do you think that means that there's, their that there's um, soldiers in the house of an S? It, what? Like, I, I can't speak Russian. They said, min, five minute tochni. I don't know what that means. But then he said, militia, which sounds like militia. So that sounds like military in the house. <laughs> uh, right? I'm not even going to check a guess at what Russian I, I am going to use Google Translate. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Um, five minute tochni. I know, it's a stupid word. Okay. My Google Translate does not detect the language. Maybe Ennis invented his own Polish? language. Polish? Is it Polish or, or Russian? I mean, I'd assume it's Russian. Switch the sense of lots at LOL in response. Oh, my Google Translate doesn't know what it means. But Villard finds it funny. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Yep. yep. <laughs> Jinx. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know Dutch, uh, or I only know the Dutch things for if you say something at the same time. Oh, well, I have obviously no idea what those are. Nope. And I can't say them because you will, you will say like what? I won't be able to know what it means. Anyways, so gold graph back to zero after that push in from Dignitas earlier. Experience graph, slightly in favor of Dignitas, well slightly, actually quite a lot. But that's mostly because of the kills and because Virtus Pro, like you said, at some point they went for 5-man Dota and since then they haven't re been really getting that much experience purely because they were with 5 all the time and sharing the experience on the lane. Not really ideal, while Aoi of course was still trying to get farm somewhere because and he needs that. VP also aggressive trial and anytime you do that your two supports as well as whatever farm you have in that trial lane are gonna be under leveled. So. They've got six, eight, and nine on those three heroes. Meanwhile, the tri lane of Big Toss is or the the quote unquote tri lane is eight, eight, and eleven. Not big difference. Yeah, a lot of Viren's experience is coming out of that mud that he had around the seven or eight minute mark. And yeah, it's like you said, smile level six. Well, at least he has a Laguna Blade, but that's still gonna be pretty pretty squishy. V is got getting hit by the combination that. Dignitas can pull out. Gonna be dropping. But it's gonna be the Roshan fight that's gonna be determining a lot, I guess. If there's actually gonna be a fight for Roshan, which I think if it if it's Virtus Pro's choice, they they're gonna want um they're gonna want a team fight. They're gonna want to get that RP going. Do you think that Dignitas will look for a fight now that they got the Orchid up? Dignitas is actually fine with having a standoff right now because they have a Fion on their team. And there isn't a coddle on VP. Or here with bots, so they're able to uh, have your own, like what he's doing right now, sitting on top lane, pressuring a tower. Meanwhile, VP is dancing around Roshan. And if VP doesn't do anything, then Dignitas is gaining a huge advantage out of that. So, VP right now, it's decision time for them. They either have to go for Rosh and trade away that top tower and be ready to team fight, or they have to go to top and defend that tower. What do you think they're gonna do? I, I wish I was a mind reader. I'm not Russian, so I have no idea what we'll do. And apparently militia means police, so there's police at his house. No, oh, okay. We were close with you, yes. Military. Military at the house. <laughs> I would there be a police at your house. Oh! Oh no, that's that's if I cast. Like, if there would be police at my house, it would be because my neighbor complained about sound. 
but I don't think a player has that. Even though it's an S, right? Are you trying to say Who knows how loud he is really during loud? games? Maybe. Maybe. It's Russians after all. But again, you'd think that Russians are used to something. Okay, I just heard Cocaster is demon. Hello, demon. Huh? Me? Apparently. Oh, hi. I didn't know it's Vietnamese, but okay. Let's run with it. I don't know. I said Cocaster is demon. Someone thinks you're demon. Demon of the Yeah, I know. I know, I know. I was making a joke, but oh, apparently it went oh. over your head. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's too advanced for me. You can't joke with Dutch. No. My sense of humor is flawed. <laughs> oh well. The go goes again, and it's a new fest on Team My Wild. They don't want to fight. They don't want to defend. They want to fight right now. They want to fight and then take Roshan. Look at look Dyer's at uh, Dignitas instantly. They are split up. This is not good for them. If someone gets caught out, I mean, they can get away. Fogged, not so much. They're on the hunt though. No, they're just extracting VP, and now they've got a top tower. Oh, nice. TP comes in too late. Uh, if Fest is still there, I think Wait, Texas is going to be going down. Yeah. I will rise next season. We'll see you next season then. Well, first pro at least they got they got a kill. Dignitas is okay with that trade though. They did get a top tier one tower, and one hero for tower isn't a bad trade. But is that gonna be a Roshan for Virtus Pro with that kill? Is the question. Oh, no. not if they catch Airman Sonic Wave. He can't go anywhere. He needs to bet the burn damage. One hit will do the job. There we go. Snaking. Mega kill streak. Five for one. And the KSI gonna have his bear gonna get electrocuted. But he gets away safe. A tough bear that is. Big play by sneaking. Getting that kill led to a free tier one. We're map control for Dignitas. They're playing much, much better this game. So maybe last game it was a European server. That had some impact on their play. So now they have a bunch of West Coast players. Well, what, what we saw on um, Dignitas when they were up against Empire, Dignitas was actually winning all. Um, all games that they played on their own server, while Empire won all the games that they played on uh, Nice Kill Snake. Uh, that was Liquid and Empire, though. Um, was that, no, Liquid and Empire here. was vice versa, I think. Because Liquid... Who was it? Liquid versus no Tidehunter. Like, they all won on the opposite server of each other. Oh, I don't know, there's too many games. I, I agree. Yeah. Speaking of getting really aggressive. Yes, a bit too aggressive perhaps this time. He can still blink himself away. We'll be able to do that. Didn't get he a kill this time. He had a third jump from university. He was able to get far enough away from Lena. While Lena was slowed by Shadow Strike. Nice. Almost risking his life for his teammate. Very noble. But Virtus Pro, now on the back foot. I think they're still really waiting on that team fight perhaps. KSI has not been farming really since he had that radiance so that's putting them a bit behind especially if you look at the net worth of course that's also because of the towers that are going down even though it's only one tower difference but KSI is still really high but the rest not as much top four is having three of Dignitas in. quite nice actually I mean with the bad start that Dignitas had still able to pull this up it wasn't even necessarily a bad start, they just had to sack one lane really hard. They did, did win oh, mid Superior. and top of the, the oh, wash. Oh, is a bad start. Oh, that's true. But they made up for it because they got first blood on the mag regardless. Yeah, that, yeah. the game. Then it was maybe a bit even again. Anyway. I'm gonna see a Rosha finally tried by Virtus Pro and um, Table Wild standing at the back, getting ready for an RP. Gonna see Snaking, Snaking can walk right into him. Yeah. Hello, Snaking. <laughs> Snaking? <laughs> what the fuck? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Dyer's top tower okay. is under attack. He was like, hey, hey dude, you yeah, could. I was like a, a second, but. It yeah, but. It... Back a little faster than that. You're a professional player. You have like lightning fast trigger finger fingers. I don't know how you say still that. Still coming out from VP. Yeah, they want to go. But this Roshan's still up, by the way. Didn't get taken down. Oh, he could have so silenced him up. They could have killed him off before anything. They else. actually just walked over sentry. Did Dignitas see that, though? Uh, pings come out. I, I think they did. Yeah. They realize. They definitely did. They're gonna go in. They're gonna find an S. Vacuum, silence up. No tombstone this fight. They say about the RP. It hits, but he gets turned into a chicken. No follow up fast enough. Universe still gets more trapped by himself. 
of Ryan's teammate rather goes down. It's gonna be Illidan that still takes a lot of damage. Gonna get zapped to death. Ski is eyes running for his life with the flat cannon and the rocket barrage helping out. Another chicken, this time the bear godlike triple kill, snaking on fire right now. Bug's gonna die to the bear. Did. Radiance burn. And buybacks. First pro. They don't want to be giving up. Oh, oh the bash! It is way too sexy. He'll go down by the burn. Oh my god, the bash from Roshan. Roshan, you bad, bad Roshan. Kill that way too sexy right there. And with the bear still being alive, they really couldn't go for Rosh. They should have backed out right away. Oh. A little bad luck left to another kill me giving DP's way, but they, they try to take too much there. Instead of capitalizing on the one team fighting back oh, out. Snaking, what you doing, Snaking? He is gonna be not able to pick up the Aegis, not able to pick up the Roshan. Still alive for now. Mechanism coming in from Universe. It is gonna be Lena that still goes down. Maybe they can catch NS as well. Scream. Should be going down. Definitely goes down. Beyond Godlike right now. Only died that one time. It's got 10 kills to his name. Way too sexy, tried to go on a uh, life stealer. But while he was doing it, he tried to Midas a creep in mid lane and accidentally orchided it. <laughs> they, it didn't matter that they wouldn't have gotten Airman anyway, he just walked away. Oh, school. Oh. Hello, Snaking. Pops his ghost after able to stay alive for now. We'll be able to link himself away in one second. That's why you need a ghost after. Wow. That's just so safe his life. Tim oh, Wild scared because he was out of position and sneaking flipped into it. Oh god. Uh, some harassment on the tier 3 though, still in favor of Dignitas. I mean, they did that with that previous fight, like not previous fight, but the one before that. They got three buybacks out of Virtus Pro. That, that must be pretty having a pretty big impact. If you look at networks, that's, that's going to contribute to a lot of four members on VP's team. Where are they gonna go? They've got an RP again, they've got an infested life here. I think they're wasting time though. Well, I guess they can't see the minimap and we can. Way too sexy, 1800 gold. Still has brown boots. Because he likes brown boots. They fit his uh, bark. What do you think that uh, Snaking is gonna buy? He's got 2700 gold. He's either, he might just go for an ethereal blade. If he's feeling that uh, overconfident in this game. Is that the right but choice though then? He should probably go for a sheep stick. Maybe an Agonims, but he's more likely going for a sheep. Let's throw that control. Oh, Fogged. Finds himself while screwing. That's gonna be Fogged going down. Still places his warp though. Cool down coming down as well. Snakey gonna try to pick up Tim and Wild, who doesn't have an RP anymore as we are finding fights. There we go. It is way too sexy. Gonna get bashed on. By Airman is able to TP himself out. Snaking is st was still able to pick up Tim Wild. He's now gonna go for the next target, which is KSI, as we have a Rock Rush still picking up some creeps at the sideline. Snaking he is gonna be mecked up. Universe to the rescue. No entangles are gonna keep that one down. Blinks himself out as we still have Universe in some trouble getting it. This bear. Getting entangled Here's everywhere. Ghost Scepter though. Yep, the Ghost Scepter. Saw that wave. It's a two. Also hit on Airman before he could turn on the rage. That could fools. be bad because Snaking, he is not going to let that slide, I think. Oh, but neither is Tim. Oh, well, that's going to be a double kill. Indeed it is. It's going to be uh, three people going down with also one kill going away of Airman. But oh, that RP. That hurt. Yep, he got picked off. He bought back. Yeah. He bought back, back from Tim. I'm wild and uh, didn't have to see it. Ended up getting caught by it. Good and he walked Magnus, all the way, though, there's not even a, a TP point or something, like, they, they still yeah. have one tier and two. And he used his TP when he died. So he, he just walked all the way. Yep. Ouch. Got that, bad, huh? that is, yeah, that's a lot of time for Dignitas to, to back off. But, uh, yeah, maybe they indeed didn't see it. And uh, they were too ballsy with trying to get, uh, trying to get Airman still. I love him. That was a really important fight for VP to win. Because the game was getting to the point where... It was almost getting out of hand. If you look at the experience graph, it was up to almost 13,000 and then stepped down to 9,000. Lead for Dignitas. Toss. Still a pretty big lead, but a pretty big dip as well, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Huge turnaround. I have to say, though, a Gyrocopter as a utility hero works out okay. He's got his BKB ready now, also. He's died twice. He's got only assists. But he's not doing that bad. He needs to pick up some farm and get 
some late game items going. The good thing for him is the on VP their bear, he got a radiance up at 14 minutes, and 14 minutes later, he's gotten a cloak and a hyperstone. So he isn't really super farmed, and Airman on Nay has a Lothar's drum phase. And he had phase drum at around 14 minutes, or 10 minutes probably. So now all he's picked up is a Lothar's after that. Lothar's. So the carries the VP aren't farming very well. Meanwhile, Dignitas still has a really farmed uh, Quap that is going towards Hex, and a pretty farm Furion as well. Yeah. Definitely. We just actually needs to be uh, needs to also be getting a bit of semi carries items. If this game lasts very much longer, I mean, you are at some point gonna have an even more from Lone Druid, and at some point also more from Airman on Life Stealer, if he actually continues farming a bit. You need to be prepared for that. And I guess One thing. Okay, go DP on. does, which you touched on a little bit earlier. When they have uh, Nakes, they tend to spend a lot of time with their Nakes infested into whoever has a blink on their team. Yeah. In Airman, uh, a team of wild that is, and I think he's gonna be doing that again. That looks a bit, perhaps not. He's thinking about it. Wanna have a raid? But yeah, that that's costing him a lot of time and experience. Something that he can't uh, can't get back. And I think both teams, I think they're happy with just taking farm. We've have seen teams, both of them, win fights and lose fights. And the Roshan is down, so for Dignitas, they don't really want to fight when they're still on ages up on the life theater. For Virtus Pro, they have fought and they have lost, and they don't really be wanting to do that again, unless they know that they're absolutely in favor. So both teams just had a bit of a, oh, well, bit of a pause, bit of a break, farming break. Apart from maybe Dignitas trying to push a bit on the top lane. I mean, VP knows that, so you just get out of their side of the map and farm the woods of uh, Dignitas, and actually they're getting back to defend the base. But is Dignitas oh. actually wanting to go in here, or are they just here to force out some TPs or something? VP actually smoked next to the uh, side shop of bottom lane. Going all the way to top, as NS is drawing the battle lines. Battle lines. I saw the lines, I just didn't think of battle lines. They're gonna walk past the sentry ward if they're not careful though. Uh, it looks like they are careful. And they don't see anybody of Dignitas at the moment either, so they don't know that they're still top. They're gonna go in here. Sentry gives a small amount of vision, so we'll see if Dignitas sees us. No, but they look at the drawing though. <laughs> Snaking things. I think they're somewhere around here, as it's spot on. <laughs> I like it. Oh, fogged. No longer fogged. Fogged. You're no longer fogged. What's he doing? Seattle Blade. Open wounds. Fogged. I think you're dead. You are not dead. Surge up. He is alive. He's gonna get away. Hold on, coming down as well. It's gonna be smiled. I guess picked up first. Nice Sonic Wave. From the side, Snaking coming in wants to go for an S. It is his proud up to silence the Tamer Wild that already used his RP. It is gonna be an S and indeed still goes down. Tamer Wild gets an infested life sitter. He says, Take me out of this place. He goes out of this place, so that helps. But uh, KSI, let's see if he's gonna be as lucky. Surge up from Universe, it comes Snaking again, and that is gonna be another kill. Good fight for Dignitas. That's a big time surge out of Universe and a good reaction by Fog. He got the Hex out onto Lena before Lena got done. And it was a nice RP coming out of Tame My Wild, but there was just no follow up for it. Because the rest of his team was too far away. It was, uh. I, I, like, we saw that the, the Shadow Blade helped out from, from of course, from uh, the, the Life Seater. He was able to scout out Fog. Fog realized his smoke went off, so he placed the sentry already right before he got attacked. Of course, right during he got attacked, maybe. But it actually didn't buy any time for Virtus Pro to get to the place where he wanted to be. And that's something that with the Shadow Blade there, you would have expected that that actually would have buy, would buy time, but not the case. I like though, I like that Snaking just drew on the map, knew where they were, and were able to, to initiate straight away. Like, they were all there. They were ready for it, and they took it very convincingly. Went all in, and that paid off. And VP actually smoked up right after that in their base, but they weren't able to catch anyone. Gonna see Tamer Wild though, infested once again. Maybe he can find Way Too Sexy. Infest out. Way Too Sexy is gonna be trying to TP out. There is a silence up on Tamer Wild and he is out in safety. No score. That a Orchid hurting him. Airman, you need a basher. Maybe. That should be nice. Needs to get something. I think it's a little late for our list. So I could very well see Basher coming out. Seeing as the hell the Silver is getting an AC. 
Yeah, slowly the exactly. lead items are gonna go up, I guess. Yeah. It's still not as much farm in 30 min 32 minute game. We've seen games with way more farm than this at 32 minutes. But that's just because both teams have been roaming around so much. Yeah, it's been a pretty active game. And both teams have had their times where they just have to play passive and aren't getting much farm, like around the Roshan standoff and such. Uh, as far as item progression goes, Way Too Sexy has or is working towards a Lothar's. He has a Claymore right now, as well as 500 gold. Uh, Bog is buying wards, and he's been buying wards. All he has is the Dyer's early arcane boots and just a whole bunch of wards. Uh, Universe has picked up a four staff along with the mech, uh, well, mech and ghost after they've had. O2000 got his BKB a little while ago, and he's sitting on 2300 gold. Sneaking has finished his Hex to go along with his Orchid Ghost Scepter. NS has regular boots and an urn, and he's been doing a good amount of the warding along with uh, Smile. Smile Airman, like the bracer, so. Airman's got that Lothar drum and phase boots sitting on 2800 gold right now. Almost have a AC picked up on KSI. Haste. Go along with his radiance, and Smile's got a couple of racers go along with boots on Lena. Yeah, we're gonna see him sneaking. He finds himself some people here. Oh, oh, and he blinks himself into the forest. Oh, poor sneaking. Can't do anything with the haste run that he has. Gets burned a bit, uh, but it's uh, not gonna be a kill for now. Wait, sexy might be in a bit of trouble. Snaking, gonna be backing off. Everybody of uh, Dingta's backs off. They lost a moment. I guess they could have made it a bit aggressive if Snaking was able to pick someone off at the start of the fight before that fight actually happened. But by having Snaking blink himself into the trees, well... I don't think that was planned. Definitely was not planned. Not really this plan. well, they defend their tier 2 though. It's the last tier 2 standing on the side of Virtus Pro. We actually haven't seen Virtus Pro near any tier 2 towers of Dignitas for a while. Batcher up on eggs and he walked right into way too sexy. Wait till Sexy gets bashed and he's dead. This time no TP, the basher helping out. Oh, he gets punished for it though. Snaking gonna go for him, silence him up. Is there a Sonic Wave yet? Here comes Wait till Sexy as well. Shadow Blade won't save him now. That's gonna be an RP up on two though. But can he kid, take him down? There's no damage. Here comes Smile, that might be enough damage. It is Wait till Sexy that still gets stunned up from, from the side. Hello, Fog. Smile, trouble, it's getting taken down, vacuum in there, and it's gonna be also an S that drops him a while, able to get away, but KSI might be able to get something done here, as he's gonna go for snaking, but the ghost after helping out Bear, he's gonna get slowed, but a fight won by Dignitas, only giving up a lone druid for that one, or lone druid, nature's prophet that is, way too sexy going down. Can they get anything in return for it though? Nature's prophet actually died twice there. Twice. But that was a oh, yeah. really good fight out of Dignitas, good buyback out of way too sexy to get a kill attack. on Lifestealer. Revenge kill. Dyer's bottom tower and the tier 2 drops, can they get anything more? Like, we've seen a lot of fight going the way of Dignitas right now, but they're not gonna get... They haven't gotten that much in return for fights so far. Maybe this time will be Dyer's different though. But it doesn't look like they have a clear plan, because there's some pushing middle, Dyer's some pushing bottom, and right now, Team of is back up, and he's uh, there with KSI. So they They've gotten a bunch of chip damage in all three tier 3 towers. Is that, is that worth it though? But, but overall, like, they knew that they weren't really strong enough to push in there. They didn't want to risk getting caught with a buyout happening. So instead they just split up, put a pressure on all three towers, and farmed. All of the lanes. I guess that's nice enough for now. I do like though that Dignitas is finally playing like Dignitas this game. Unlike previous game. But do you think this, at this moment, it is Dignitas playing really well, or Verse Pro might be maybe a bit sloppy with their strategy, with or a bit cocky rather, with the five-man pushes that have not been really working out. When that uh, bear got himself the radiance, what do you think this caused? Because because right now Dignitas is ahead. I feel like they are controlling the fights. They declare where, when, what happens. I mean, I hate to be the guy that blames servers a little bit, but it definitely has some impact when it's primarily West Coast teams against. Russian teams, yeah. especially. Well, it's, it's not a blame, it can be part of the reason. I mean, for example, Tamer yeah. Wild dying yeah. in that mid lane earlier, that was, like you said, that, that was server. Russians are never gonna be at their peak when they're on East, and primarily West Coast NA teams are never gonna be at their peak on EU. That's a shame. So, at least some mistakes. See, another Roshan going down for DP. 
Yeah, and it looks like Dimitri's going to find it though. Cold on coming down, but uh, Age is already up on Illidan. And that's going to be the end of that one. Something that Verge Pro, I think, really need. A bit of a yes. uh, margin of error. Maybe to lose the fight. It's going to be uh, Universe is also going for a Sheepstick, actually. Uh, it could also be Shiva's in Universe. She's oh. very good on Dark Sea. Yeah. Stuff there. Virtus Pro again looking for. I, like, Virtus Pro is constantly looking for those fights, and even though I get it, like, they want to fight, they're not winning them, so why continue looking if you can get farm up on your bear and your life sitter instead? Unless the is trying to be aggressive, but Fog had a centric down in the lane and saw him. So, another sentry's up on a nest? Nope. And they're actually forced back a bit by uh, by the pressure coming in on the top lane Diet. and bottom lane, just from the creep wave. I'm gonna all run to base again. Stegen's gonna pick off Smile on bottom. And Smile actually picked up a pipe. Yeah. See, so yeah, I really farmed. Blood the sign to help him against the cheap and orchid coming out of sneaking. No, it's uh, it's, it's pretty painful. I mean, I, I guess it helps to take the sonic wave later on. I mean, the combination of Dignitas is mostly magical damage at that time. But there is so much that the pipe will not at least, at least not save Lina. It might save the Life Stealer. might save well, also Team Wild. They also have a mecha on Magnus, so they did get the team fight. I'm just looking to team fight, but Dignitas has been content to sit back, farm up, and split push and get pick offs that way. And we do have, like you said, by the way, <laughs> Snake King, Ethereal Blade. Did you already no. say that? No, right? No, I said he might get it yeah, if he was over. Exactly. If he, well, he didn't get the heck first, like... at least. But still a little surprising that he actually got an Ethereal Blade. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's okay to also shut down Lifesteer if he gets too big. Like, you can stop someone from attacking. I've been seeing uh, Loda has been picking up the Ethereal Blade a lot on, uh, on the Gyrocopter. You can use it to save teammates too, but you already have two teammates that have their own Ghost Scepters in Fogged and Universe. But also to just, I mean, Lifestealer, if he's going to be put in yeah, the Ethereal Blade. Yeah, if Lifestealer just rages on cooldown, then yeah, he could rage, er, Ethereal Blade him as well. Or the bear, to stop the bear from attacking. Oh, the bear is actually probably better in this case. Or he could just use it on whoever he's ganking to instantly blow them up. And that's probably going to be the one that he wants to use it for. <laughs> Because having an Orchid as well as an Ethereal Blade, that's a lot of bonus damage going on to a hero. Needs to find new people to gank though, as we do have, by the way, a Z a butterfly. Attack. On Ali. Let's see the bear running for its life. Well, they really want to kill the bear. They want to kill the bear. Bear. Dead. Infested life stealer in air or in mag again. And then jump on Fruit Side this time as well. Though, who is gonna be invisible? Fog's getting caught out. Top tower is under attack. Oh, fogged. The burning damage alone will do the job. Don't you pop your ghost scepter. That won't work. Dyer's structures He's are dead. fortified. The shade. <laughs> Close in. But while uh, they were all getting chased down, Big Toss was able to almost get that top tier three. Whoa! Only 26 right. HP left. They probably will be trying to deny it. They can link himself away. Universe has surged himself away. Bear looking for entangles, maybe up on Aoi who is running for his life. Still has a BKB, he can try to TP up, but the bashes will be there. He'll just use the BKB to continue running instead. The entangle will be there as well, probably. First hit, let's see. No, first hit doesn't go. He is still very fast with the face, but there is an entangle, Thank and you. that is going to be sneaking, trying to help out. Coldon is going to come down, but Aoi still going to be the one to fall, as we do have a sonic wave over the top. Airman actually. We're gonna be probably going down. Vacuum in there as well. And it's gonna be the Asians that gets blocked. Bear will go down again. This time, no resummon. Tamermod gets a good RP in up on two. Universe is snaking. The one that we're already on top, very low, getting chased down. Still both going down. But the bear, no no bear for another 50 seconds. Oh, snaking's not. Snaking didn't die. He barely lived. He had an iron charge on him, but. Oh, he blinked into the tomb. Don't blink into the tomb. Why would but you even know? though VP saw that, he's seeking still gonna be able to get away. Oh, Courier, where are you going, Courier? Oh, blink forward. Team of Aldi only needs to go to get a good. Oh, no! No! Oh! oh. Boom! That is his dominating streak and out, getting the gold. And the Courier really good going play by down. Team of Wild. 
it's just experience right there, knowing that he had, you would blink in the trees. Well, knowing where. It's like, it was a bit of a gamble, I guess. A little bit, but it's also experience helping him out there. <laughs> Sorry. Apparently I have a mustache and then late at night I drive a truck and call myself Bob. Nice! Oh, nice. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just got too strict with that one. Fox got uh, caught out once more. Well, I say caught out, but he was actually on his side of the map. The Just Virtuous Pro that was a bit aggressive, and the Shadow Blade from Ill Illidan helped out. And this time, no sentry ward just got him out. And way too sexy back toward their top tower. Slow. I, sh I say back toward, but there are creeps in the base bottom that he pushed in. Yep. And he was actually able to get a bit of harassment in on the tower. The gem is still there up on Team of Wild, though, and way too sexy gonna silence him up, making sure that he is gonna be able to TP out. Radiance middle tower. Has but the fallen. tier two tower mid still went down. First Dyer's tier two tower that the Virtus Pro gets attack. down. Well, that's nice. Well, even though Dignitas does have big gold lead and experience lead, this is still anyone's game. It's, it's gonna come down to yeah. This it's always I guess gonna come down to who goes where and basically captaining. Be the battle. Of an S taking oh. on way too sexy. Right now we've got Roshan that's gonna be up in about four minutes or so. Well, that's gonna be a fight. Should as, far be a fight. as far as big items go, she was was finished on Universe. Uh, the butterfly, which I already mentioned, the ethereal blade, you already mentioned. And the bear, bear has got his. Uh, oh. The bear got a soul crossbow, but he got himself 3,200 gold. Yep, so he's looking. Good towards his next item, which is probably going to be an MKB for the gyrocopter. As Illidan also has a Demon Edge, he's working towards an MKB of his own, and also the Gem on Tame My Wild. So VP wow. is getting some bigger items now and working towards him as well. And I still find that they have the more dangerous late game combination with their heroes. That is like damage wise. It's just that Dignitas has been able to. to to just catch him out of position so often. And the split push potential is definitely bigger on Dignitas than on Virtus Pro. Yes, that split push is going to be a huge pain in the ass for VP. Because all they really have to deal with it is... Well, they've, they've had two ways. They have Magnus and they also have the Lothar's Nay because they can try to take people off. It's actually a melee barracks. There's no fortification. TP incoming. RP actually misses. Nice blink by Snake in just in time. How he pops his BKB. The replay for already cleared out. It's gonna be Airman that gets dropped real fast. Cold on coming down as well. KSI getting vacuumed back into that one. Is there everybody on Dignitas still alive? Buyback, by the way, from the Life Seater. The barracks still go down, and I think this is all that Dignitas wants. Maybe if they get the ranged barracks as well. The bear got resummoned after going down, so if they kill it off again, we won't be having a resummon, but they don't need it. They don't need to kill it off again. In the meantime, split push, way too sexy. Melee Rex, bottom lane, getting it as well. And the split push on the mid lane. Well, I can't really call it split push anymore, I guess. It's gonna be uh, enough to also pick the tier 3. Ethereal Blade, and Scream, and that's gonna burst it down. Wait, the text is still dropped on the bottom lane, and we're still gonna see Virch Pro trying to pick up everybody who's still left inside their base. Whoa, Snaking, where are you gonna go? That's the wrong side. Gonna get burned down. Let's see if he can get some entangles up on him. Ooh, chicken. Scream. Show side. Destroy all the harassment that he can. There goes uh, the open wound. Well, Sneaking oh distracting them. Oh my god! They're hitting on the racks. Fortification oh, going off again. Oh my god, they almost got that actually, also. Fog might still be going down here. Turns Illidan into a chicken. We'll help him out as he's dodging that and one, and back. again, it's a distraction! Yeah. King is I! The distraction is just too much! This is gonna be GG! This is GG Dignitas! Showing them all the things that they didn't show in game number one, and we will see a game number three between these two teams. Oh my god, that split push. Oh my god, those distractions. Even I got yeah, distracted they had from it. A bunch of distractions throughout that. Once, uh... Dignitas won the initial fight on top of the mid RP and they killed Illidan and forced the buyback. They still the wall and wards up. Wait, two actually knew that they had those racks secured, so he went straight to the bottom and took out the melee racks. Then, uh, during the mid push, Universe ran at them with Iron Shell. He still had Ghost Scepter and a Force Staff to get out of their base. He just distracted them first, get extra damage in. Then, when they chased after Sneaking, Dignitas knew that they could go back and on the racks again. And they were just able to end the game. It was, yeah. I mean, I mean, from left to right, they they just chased them around successfully. Might I add.
but there will be a game number three. So we're gonna see Dignitas Birds Pro Winners Bracket Finals Rhythmix Russian Dota 2 League. Are you gonna join me for game number three as well? Sure. Yay. So then uh, you will get to do your shout outs after that game, okay? Unless you have All already right. someone that you want to shout out to real bad. Alright, well shout out to Asway, he's number one. Okay. Done that. <laughs> Let's uh, let's join ourselves into game number three. Stick around for more uh, Rhythmix Russian Dota 2 League. Winner of this match will be going to the Grand Finals. Loser will be facing up against No Tide Hunter in the Loser's Bracket Finals tomorrow, um, which will be happening before the Grand Finals. So stick around and uh, we'll be right back. 